Your nose has gone blue. Violet, you're, you're turning violet. Hey guys, welcome to another video. If you wanna see how to get this look, me being Violet from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, whatever generation you from, all right. And if you wanna see how to get this cute look, this cute cut crease, then keep on watching. Hey guys, I'm so excited to do this look. It looks so good in the end, I'm excited. Let's get right into it. I already started with my eyebrows, they are already done and then i did the bushy fox eyebrow that i'm doing nowadays i have a video on, on my youtube channel so you can go back and check that out if you want to see how i got these brows i also primed my face and my eyes so that's all clear so let's get into it okay so first we're gonna start off with the base at the end of the day violet is a kid probably like around 12 or 13. so their skin is flawless so well, I had bags, I don't know, when I was a kid. But some people, they're hashtag blessed and don't have them. So we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna get our face as flawless as we can. So first I'm gonna go in and color correct my under eye bags, like I always do. And I have these bangs, I have no idea what they are. I think that they're called, well, I don't know the actual, term but I call them talking veins and it's so weird I don't know let me know if anyone else gets them out there because they're literally just like around my lips just these two little veins that go down so we're just gonna cover that up too any little mustachio friends that want to join us aren't invited to this party so they are going away too now I'm going in with my foundation. Right now I'm using the Anastasia, let me see, Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This works so well if you have dry skin. I recommend it, it is $40 though. So it is a high-end foundation, but save up, it's worth it. It makes your face look like, wow. And I do think they have like 40 shades. So that's pretty good. Go ahead and get you some if they have it in your color. on your nose which I might have like kind of gone crazy and put a lot on my nose but I'm actually gonna fill in the nose more with concealer than foundation so I just kind of focused it mostly on the outside of my face with the foundation but you want your nose to be super sticky so that the eyeshadow pigment that we're gonna be using sticks to your nose because I tried it without it and it wasn't really like sticking and some parts it would be like super purple and the other parts it wouldn't. So go very light on the foundation, on the nose, go crazy with the concealer. Let's do it. We're gonna go kind of cray cray on the nose, so we're gonna get the whole thing. Cause the bulb, I don't even know, is, it, is that what it's called of your nose? The, I don't know, point, the circular part of your nose is the hardest since there's so many like nooks and crevices. I do like to sit with this on a little bit, so we're just gonna dry it out. When your concealer is dry, the more um, full coverage it is. I'm so excited. Halloween is my favorite holiday because it's so fun and you can literally do anything. And yes, the nose is light AF. Yeah light for days <laughs> okay and we're gonna leave all this to set really quick while we work on our eyes which is really fun and then you actually don't want to put any on your nose because again you're gonna take away all the grip that you just added with the concealer and I don't like to really go crazy 
underneath my eyes like that much because I don't know like even though that this is like a yellow powder for some reason it still kind of like leaves a little bit of a cast for me so I think at this point it's just because I'm black like literally there's no other option unless like well they do have like brown powders you know how that well this one has like a tint of yellow they do have some with brown so maybe that will work I don't know I know for the white one and a little bit for this banana it still like looks a little ashy if I use too much so I just don't use a crazy amount and then I go in before the eyes actually I completely forgot to contour my face it's like a nice little just a warm contour you know your basic thing nothing nothing too crazy just a basic contour again we're not gonna contour your nose because that will make the whole look super muddy mixing that with purple is really not the move i wonder what they call like um baking but this like not really baking like what i do like i feel like it's baking but i don't feel like i'm baking if that makes sense maybe i'm like i don't know maybe i'm pan frying it can we <laughs> can we add that to what the makeup is called <laughs> i'm not baking today i'm pan frying where it's just like a cute little light application but you still like end up looking snatched it's just enough to look snatched but you're not going crazy next are the eyes and i love the eyes because they literally look so good but you're not really doing that much so let me show you so first we're gonna go in with a transition color i'm gonna be using cola float from the Maybelline Soda Pop collection. And as you can tell, I love this palette. Like it works so well. And surprisingly, even though the colors look a little like bold, when I say they come off so beautifully on my skin, like, I don't know. I don't know. I call that a bang for your buck. So we're gonna start a little bit above your crease, kind of close to the eyebrow and then we're just gonna go straight out you're not gonna do a um typical like i'm not gonna put it in the outer corner at all i'm just sticking it in the front and on the top very close to the brow bone kind of making the shape that i'm going for which the shape will be this a really kind of like dramatic shape so i'm gonna keep going in and making that it's like a line i'm doing this a line and then some pizzazz at the end so line pizzazz line pizzazz that's this is the shape that i'm making on my eye going in with the hack I usually do this in my videos if I'm doing like a cut crease I'll go ahead and take my concealer then I'll go in with a paintbrush yes an actual like paintbrush and go in take a little bit and then carve out whatever shape I'm about to make right now again I'll show you in the air so with my eye this is the inner corner I'm gonna go in out and then back so it'll look basically like a v cool so the shape will look like this and now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'll be right back. And then if you need to clean up, you can go in with a transition color and then fix any lines that you need to. So next we're gonna go in with like a nude, I guess, type color. Like these are the three colors that I'm gonna be using today. If you do have the Maybelline Soda Pop collection, I'm gonna be using Chilling, Tonic, and Ginger Ale. I'm gonna mix those three together to create the base right here. And I am gonna stop around where I want the line for the purple to be. Now it's time for the fun part. So I'm gonna go in with the same palette with Cherry on top. 
and I'm gonna go and separate the light and the dark with that purple. go in with my favorite part which is this I got it from a hair store I'm sorry I don't remember which one it might have been Ricky's but that's also a hair store that's just in New York so I'm sure that they have this at any hair store that you go to that also has makeup and it is this this is called glitter wand pinky rose maybe pinky rose is the color I'm not sure if it's the color or the company or what because this is a glitter wand so that part makes sense but the rest I got nothing for you but we're using this it's in this really cool iridescent purple pink mixture and I'm gonna go over the line that we made with this so instead of a matte purple line it's actually gonna be a shiny purple <laughs> line But I do literally wish Halloween could be all the time because how fun would it be to just like walk out? Well, I do kind of do my makeup like however I want. Every day anyway, I barely do. You know, like the neutral look anyway. So I guess every day kind of is like Halloween for me. Okay, awesome. So next I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Black Eyeliner. This one's awesome. It has a felt tip, so it's really easy for you to do any type of line that you want it's super easy to control i really recommend it but at the end of the day if you're getting your one to two dollar eyeliner i'm not judging because that's what i did until literally like maybe a month ago when i bought this so do you boo but yeah as you can see this whole um look is mostly drugstore things. I think everything is drugstore except for my setting spray, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, the foundation, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminous Foundation, and then this Rare Beauty. But other than that, you can get this look for the low low. Cause I mean, if you already have your own foundation, setting spray, and eyeliner, you don't need any of those things. So let's go in. You can see where I left the line. I originally did this in concealer as a guide. So I'm literally just gonna follow this all the way up and then do a line from there. It's gonna be skinny enough where you can still see the base color of the lid. So this is what it looks like. Yes, they are some long wings, but I love it. I love it. I love it. So next we're gonna go in with drum roll please the nose. Literally what everyone's probably waiting for. Like you don't look like you're violet unless you have a nose. Like let's be real with it. I'm going to take this brush. It's medium dense, I would say, and I'm just gonna go all around right here where I really focused in on that concealer. And for that, I'm gonna be using the NYX Ultimate Colors Palette and I'm gonna use the darkest purple in it. I don't think it has a name. Yeah, no, the Ultimate Brights Palette. I'm going for the darkest purple. Oh gosh, okay. And I noticed that it actually works the best if you pat it on instead of try to like do a swirling motion because that's when it breaks up too much if you are going to use this specific palette i noticed that it does like kind of get patchy if you try to go back and forth especially on like an area with your nose which has like lots of blackheads and stuff like that will be able to show so i'm going in layering it lightly talking to her nicely you know that whole thing and I actually, when I tried this out before I did the video, I think it looked a little weird if I went all the way up, like 
my nose bone. So I'm actually gonna stop right here. <laughs> if you can see the indent that that just made on my skin. And at this point, you can honestly pick like how much violet like you want to be because you can be her when she first started chewing the gum or like I don't know later when her like entire face is turning violet or whichever and then you want to make sure it's blended out on all sides so it doesn't just look like and then <laughs> that's it you want to look like it's kind of like growing on your face so I flick out the edges to get that look oh that's cute okay then to make it a little more real I was imagining her having like something kind of like red around her nose so I'm gonna go in with a blush and I'm just gonna lightly go around the outsides where I put the purple this is also gonna help it blend more so i think that will be really cute if you just kind of go around it lightly it's, again it's really easy to kind of like get carried away with this step because it feels like you're doing like blush so just be careful with that okay like even that i feel like i went a little too ham and you can see like it will start to get muddy really quick so i'm gonna stop right there go ahead and cover with the purple again cool and i think that that looks good so next i'm gonna highlight my brow bone really quickly and that's the only place that i'm putting like an actual highlight on that in the inner corners you'll see what i'm gonna do with the rest for highlight which i think is super cute so i'm gonna go in with the tonic that's a sparkly color that we use for the lids i'm gonna mix that with some soda fizz and then this is the fun part. For highlighting on the nose, we're gonna use the shiny purple from the same palette, the Maybelline Soda Pop. The color is called Grape Pop. So I'm gonna stick that on my nose, like literally as if I would highlight it on my actual skin. You just wanna blend that part up. But you wanna keep the little, little bunny nose. I'm gonna do the little bunny nose, you can blend that in a little. And then I'm gonna go in with cherry on top. And I'm literally contouring my nose with purple. And this is what the completed nose looks like. So I'm just gonna set my face really quickly. We're gonna let that dry. So tell me what's going on with you guys. <laughs> let me know in the comments. What are y'all gonna be for Halloween? I literally, I don't even know. I don't know. Everything's kind of like weird, as you all know, you know, like just with coronavirus. So I don't know. I'm definitely not going like out, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I might stay home. It all depends on the boo thing. Is it working or not? That'll depend on what I do, really. So, yeah, let me know. Are y'all doing like Zoom calls? That's kind of what I was thinking about doing this makeup for. Like, literally, cause I was like, I don't think anyone's like going like trick or treating, but Halloween's still such a fun time. Like you should still do something, I think. So we're lightly gonna go and do the underline and purple as well and I'm just kind of smudging it or didn't put that much at all you know on the brush also Willy Wonka I'm just thinking about it it's kind of like a really dark movie like all those kids literally like they die right or am I tripping? I don't know. I think that 
he'll die which is kind of morbid for a kids movie i'm gonna put on my magnetic eyelashes did anybody have the expansion pack like dvd addition to the willy wonka because i had this so i would watch the movie and and i watched it a lot actually growing up but i would literally watch it and then do the dance along and somehow i don't even remember it like told you if you were like doing all the steps correctly and stuff and then they also had a bunch of like mini games where you can like mix your own food concoction thing the reason that like violet turned violet and then all the other like kids that go into the factory they all have like their own mini game and it was super fun actually but that's what i think of when i think of willy wonka and uh i'm telling you check out my video i did one reviewing glam well it was not glamnetics but it's a magnetic lash that's cheaper than glamnetics because i wanted to make sure that it actually worked so i have a whole nother video on testing out magnetic lashes seeing if they really work spoiler alert they do it's still a really good video though and it gives you more in depth how to use it and everything like that so definitely check that out after you're done checking out this one and yeah but like i guess i can show you a demo right now let me because <laughs> i'm about to just plop them on Lastly, I'm gonna show you how I do my lips. So I'm gonna, this is so funny because I take off all the stuff that was on my lips because I take off any like foundation or anything that was on my lips. And then, this is so dumb. I like to put on chapstick or like a lip primer or something right now. So I'm gonna put on this lip primer. My friend gave it to me. I've only used it a few times, so I can't tell you if it's really like crazy good or not, but it moisturizes my lips. It's the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer. Very simple. And then with whatever's on the brush, I literally just go in and I go in again with the color Great Pop thin layer and I just brush that on my lips so I'm doing a reverse ombre so this light goes close to the actual lip line even though I'm leaving some of the lip line there so you can see it's like the full ombre and then for the inside, I'm taking cherry on top and I'm gonna close my lips and then I'm dragging the brush inside lightly. So it's still like on my lips, I just say inside. It's not inside of my mouth, don't, <laughs> don't think that. So I'm gonna stop right here. This is the look, I love it so much. You can also do variations if you wanna be more violet. You can do purple and contour. You can add veins around your nose so it looks super dope as well. Like it's kind of more like an infection, like she actually like is spreading. That would be pretty cool as well. But here we go, this is a really cute look. To complete the costume, I would wear this jacket and zip it all the way up. She was the sporty one, so I have this purple sports jacket that I thought would work really well. And if you want to do your hair, her hair was like in a coconut head like haircut, I believe. I think it is. If I remember, I haven't seen this movie in so long. I'm pretty sure that she has like a coconut head like haircut so we're not gonna do that um but it would be super cool you can leave your hair down or i'll put my hair like this okay guys i'm back and here is the final look i love it so much it's so fun it's so playful it's really easy to do great for your little zoom calls or small coronavirus tested parties or whatever you're gonna do it's gonna be super fun. And until Halloween, I'm gonna be giving you a few more Halloween looks. Put down in the comment below what you would like to see me do next. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.